So the question is, have we peaked? Has, yes. 20, has Solar Cycle 25 jumped the shark? Has it? And that's and that's what I'm really curious. And I've been these I've been trying to figure this out for the last oh I think since last month because I was going to talk about this last month. So mm -hmm. um, let's bring this up. I found this handy dandy. This is from um, the Space Weather Prediction Center. Uh, our, our our buddies over at uh, NOAA and the National Weather Service. This is our tax dollars at work here. So yep. don't think don't think they don't do anything. They do this is this is important stuff. Oh, so. <laughs> that works. That works. And what I got here is so these are the last three solar cycles. This is solar cycle 25. This is 24. We all remember that nothing burger. Oh, and this God. is solar cy cycle 23. I got licensed here, right here in 1999, and just at the peak of this. And I, re I remember this was this was pretty good, pretty good going. And then and then it was just like 15 years of oh man, yeah. it's that last cycle. I got licensed you know, in 2014. And I got licensed at the peak of suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember you had your technician license and you borrowed that little 10 meter radio from oh, me. And um, yeah, that little radio was, jack HDX 10. Yeah. yeah. How many was, days? Was, how, uh, mm. how many days did you, did you shout into that before you got a contact? Yeah. And you know who it was. The mouth <laughs> of the spout. Your one time. Yeah, that was my one contact with him. I'm not allowed You're to have one... another contact with him. Yeah. So... Anyways, yeah. So <laughs> if you zoom out a little bit and look at, you know, the past 40, 50 years on that yeah. um, chart, it looks like there's like two peaks at every peak, right? If you look between 2000 and 2002, there was a couple big spikes. Uh, between 1989 and 1991, there was a couple spikes. Um, yeah. So it looks like, you know... We're, we're there. We're at that peak. I think we got a little bit more <laughs> yeah. time, probably another year at the peak before it starts slowly going down. Yeah. Hopefully it's not as bad as it was this past time around, mm -hmm. but holy smokes. Yep. Yeah. So there's, there's two things that the space weather people look at when they're talking about um, where the peak is. Um, number one is the um, the sunspot numbers, and they'll, they'll classify the peak at where the highest, you know, the month with the highest number of sunspots. But in order to do that, they'll do it. They've got this thirteen month window, so they'll look they'll look here. What's the highest number? And then they'll look six months to the present day, and then they'll look six months back back from that high at that peak and they'll average things out they'll smooth it out and for the mean number and right now august um if i can blow i'll blow this up a little bit more so that we're just looking at our current cycle august monthly value of uh, the smooth monthly value uh, had 216 with a smooth monthly value of 156.7 sunspots. And right now that that's the, the highest number we've, we've gotten in a, in that 13 month uh, time period. Mm -hmm. um, and you look at the, at the six months to present day, you know, present um, to the end of March, and there's nobody, nobody that's gone above that number. So we might be reasonably sure, assured that our peak might have been in August of 2024. But we could this summer, we don't know this, but we could this summer, you know, say like come this July or August, have another big surge again and if we get and if there's another if we get another peak month that goes above 216 and then and then they extend that that six month forward six month look back and mm -hmm. and if the smooth average increases you know then maybe then then maybe that peak will be um in you know, this summer sometimes mm -hmm. so 
Um, and that happened actually on the last cycle 25. You see, we, we, we've got the double peak where they had um, well, in October. Well, I really call it a double peak. <laughs> <laughs> in October, we had, uh, oh, what, let's see if I can find the peak here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 92, or is that December? I thought, where's the number, big number? So 95 in uh, January, but then again, we had 110 in February of 2014, almost two years mm -hmm. later. And that could, that could happen again. So we're just going to have to, um, we won't know that we, 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 in, you know, in real time, we're not going to be able to say we're at the peak right now. We're only going to be able to say the peak was six months ago, by the way in which they calculate where the peak is going to be. So consider right. that. Um, yeah. Now, one more thing to think about. And I find this really interesting, but um, there's another thing about solar weather, weather is that when the sun, um, you know, there's at the peak or, or at, at the peak or a certain time point within the solar cycle, the sun will flip its magnetic poles from mm -hmm. um, north to south, south to north. And it does that every, it does that every 11 years. And the 22-year cycle of flipping from north to south to south to north to the back up to north to south again is called the hail cycle. And um, we have not experienced that magnetic shift or pull shift yet in cycle 25. So we could be moving, moving forward yet. We might be, you know, it might still be a little bit of time yet before, before we're peaking. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, well, fingers crossed. So I'd like I'd like to have another summer of being able to. Cook. <laughs> oh, something just went off my back. Oh, huh. I just caught a I got a mouse in my trap. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, I just screwed this segment for for the replay. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's springtime and the mice are waking up. I caught one last week, and now I just caught another one. <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> well, the kind of cool uh, thing, though, the kind of cool thing is that um, we're gonna, you know, the the ride back down is gonna be a few years. And even mm -hmm. though you know we're at the peak, so it's the most we're at its most turbulent right now. So we're going to get a lot of, um, you know, it's it's one of those careful what you wish for kind of things. You know, we got mm -hmm. great, and when when the when 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 the the sun is relatively, you know, there when when the uh, the atmosphere is relatively quiet, we get some really great propagation. But then when the sun starts just throwing those flares at us, then everything just gets, you know, it, it turns into 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 total garbage. Yeah, so you know, and then. Yeah, and it's and it becomes more and more frequent because we're at the peak number of sunspots in the in the solar cycle. As we start trending back down again, I think we'll get the the sun the sunspot numbers won't be as high, but we'll still have a relatively high solar flux index for at least another two years. Mm -hmm. um, so consider, you know. Uh, Fifth, you know, ten meter activity might not be as prevalent two years from now as it is today. Fifteen meters should still be pretty reliable, you know, come for the next two years. But then, you know, by twenty twenty eight through the end here, you know, we're going to be back into that um, bread and butter twenty forty meter kind of parks on the air <laughs> activations for hey, the next. Twenty several... meters is already a mess on Sunday afternoons. So... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so um even though even though it's it, it's going to take a few years you know to ride to ride that ride that train back down but mm -hmm. um so enjoy it while you can um but that's you know part of the reason why you know we're so turbulent right now is we're at the we're at the pinnacle or mm -hmm. we're at the pin you know we're you know at the crest or just past the crest of the solar cycle. So it's going to be like that probably coming this summer. If you remember what it, what was our prop, what was things like last summer? The bands were oh, very noisy. Yeah. Um, they were very 
15 meters was good, but it was it was also highly invariable. We um, and and then 10 meters, it was almost I don't almost unusable. You know, just just because of the of the solar activity. You know, the the 10 meter band should have been open, but it it just wasn't you know you were just weren't getting that that level of activity during the summer months i'm talking june july and august by september october november things solar activity kind of quieted back down again and and things were a lot um uh just just um you know propagation and band conditions were were a lot better but mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah expect another rough ride like that this summer uh yeah. is is what i is what i'm saying KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.